a very close match. I was trying to get a little bit of my uh, mind in on the prediction of the final score. Of course, this is a lot more than just determining which map is going to go to which team. It's going to be having a lot of variables because, of course, today is a brand new day. We have, of course, a lot of different preparation uh, things that have been happening for the players, trying to find some fine-tuned adjustments as we were about to get started. And we're getting started right now with the pick and ban phase. It will be first ban for ITB being the lower seed, and they will be banning Cosmos up first. Yeah, Cosmos being the first ban here. It used to be a very good map. Like, I, I think for everyone, the, the pick, pick and pick win advantage or average is 78%, so I can see why this one is banned. Then backflip is also a ban where we've seen a new line for Muda that can scratch off 0.2 to 0.3 of a second if done correctly, but we already jump into the picks. Tempest, always a very good map to play. G-Force as well. Mime, however, picks that one against Kaljunia and Pak, who are just looking very solid and are very consistent. So I do think that this bag could be hit or miss already for ITB, but we're gonna see how this will go. Then Twisted is the second pick for Carl Jr. I love Twisted. We both love Twisted. We both love Twisted. Yeah, so it's just my favorite map. The map of a thousand corners, as you already say, Tom. So that is nice to see. Then Edge being played as well. So, so far, they're just picking my favorite maps. That is very cool. Yeah, this is looking very, very cool indeed. Four maps left in the running for the last two picks from the teams. Tube, Surf, Dive and Valley. Dive, which we have seen being picked, which we haven't seen being True, played so open. far. It's it, open, final, yeah. It's still being made open. Meanwhile, it was usually one of the very, very first bands that some teams tend to go for because it was more of a wild card map in a sense where they didn't really feel that much preparation and they wanted to leave it aside to avoid uh, getting a little bit of the thorn on the side a little bit later on during Ooh, Valley, the series. Yeah. Valley being picked by Pack on the side of Solary and just one map left to pick before we get the decider to be picked at random between the last two maps left in the map pool that being Tube, Surf and Dive so far yep. left up for grabs for the final pick of ITB here it's very much slim pickings at this rate because you might want to go for insta locking your uh, first, uh, first ones and then once you get to the end it's getting a little bit tough yeah the thing is we haven't seen Tubes yesterday but also we haven't seen uh, Surf um, or, or dive in that way. We have seen Surf, but Tubes will be the decider. So uh, that is now concluding the pick and ban. So we have Tempest, G-Force, Twisted Edge, Valley Surf, Tubes as the seven maps. Dive is not being considered here. Backflip and Cosmos, other bans. But let's see who's going to win it. You have to win four maps in order to move on into the semifinals. So you have top four already locked in. Yeah, top four already locked in, which will be a very, very important step in the journey of these players throughout the rest of this World Championship as we are getting started very, very soon here for our opening game of the day between Solary and Into the Breach. Carl and Pack versus Mime and Afi. This is the stuff of dreams in terms of the lineup, really. Yeah. This feels also almost, a, if you were to pitch these ones together in a three-for-all situation, it would be basically open arms. The gloves are off. Yeah, I think so as well. Both teams have power picks, I would say, but I still think that they have a wide array of maps. So it's not like, okay, they're performing well on one or two maps. I think the teams are prepared on 10 of those maps, of all of them, and I do think that a couple of hundreds and thousands will decide it, and players have to go out of their comfort zone eventually, but pressure makes diamonds, right? So I do think that the players also can handle the pressure, especially Carl Jr and pack but guys we're starting with the first map it is tempest let's see who's gonna get that that's the first pick from solary call jr and pack versus safi and mime we're gonna start off with this beautiful intro beautiful intro indeed giving us a little bit of a glimpse into what really makes the core of the map the two ice jump spin sections with the identity one being extremely important because you have two very different approaches because of the speed that you actually come back in in the meantime ladies and gentlemen without further ado it is time to let the field loose and go racing for the first time today solary versus itb is go right now with round number one. Let's go into the first round by the POV of Carl Jr. who opts for a wider approach here but is accompanying his teammate Pack accordingly. So good start from the players. You can lose the gear there so that is quite unfortunate. Afi didn't get the best start but he's only 0.15 away so that is not too much for the Swiss men so far. Not too much for the Swiss man so far. First split already done and dusted. It will be currently a tenth and a half of a uh, gap between Afi and the rest of the top three. A gap that is immediately compensated for through the first jump spin where Mime had a little bit of an issue through there. So three tenths of a second being conceded by the Polish player from Into the Breach currently packed. Oh. Assuming that there is a very unfortunate touch of the barrier there from Afi that's going to be relegating him down to the back of the field. So very good start here for Solary on that map. First and second position packed. 
comfortable lead here, 0.6 of a second just before the identity. They can play it safe. He doesn't have to push. Lost a bit of time over that section, but he can afford that. Let's follow Mime here for the identity and see if he can deny the ace already. Good approach here from Mime. Coming closer to Carl Jr., the five-time world champion. What a good line here for Mime. Coming closer. Is it enough to overtake? It looks like that. And Mime will deny the ace. Important point to not already fall behind with three points. So good snipe there, but also the time from Pack. 800 away from the world record, and he, I think, lost a little bit of time in the ending. The others were coming a bit closer. Strong showing already from this uh, opening round of the opening game of the day here. And uh, yeah, Mimes, snipe at the line there compared to Carl Jr. was very, very important indeed for ITB to uh, avoid themselves finding himself on the pretty heavy setback right from the outset as we're currently uh, going through round number two following the perspective of Mime very briefly as he sets himself up for the wall ride after the uh, ice section. Currently through the first sector we go. Mime, Pakafi, and Carl in that order. Carl catching up a little bit of speed just before the first jump spin of the map marking the start of sector two. Yeah, and we see Carl Jr. still being behind, but not by too much. Now important to get the side across, to lose your gear in a controlled way, and also do not touch anything and get a clean trajectory here into the dirt where you want to hold that gear and make a good trajectory. Carl Jr. with an unusual mistake there. You usually do not see that the five-time world champion crashes this corner there. So good chance here for ITB to regain control after falling behind by one point here in that first round. It is between Mime and Pack for that first position. Mime with a bit of a better amount of speed. Carl Jr. had to respawn, so he's out on that one. Mime again with a beautiful identity, and that is a victory here for ITB. Victory for ITB indeed. Mime holding on to the bitter end with another point three in the books. Point three forty six being driven by Mime. Pack in second. Afi in third place. About six tens down compared to his teammates. And uh, yeah, that is a very uncharacteristic mistake that we've seen from Carl Jr. And it's a very uncharacteristic mistake overall. We don't really see those kind of things happen on that section of the track. Yeah, Carl Jr. with a mistake there. So he's 18 seconds behind. Didn't even finish the run here. So that is something to consider. It's three to three. So good showing off from ITB at the moment because you know they could have fallen behind with an ace in that first round already, but they didn't give up. Mime did it really well and also rewards himself with a new PB or match PB, a 108.346. So good time from Mime here, good showing for him and uh, shows that he can also cope with the pressure. Yeah, he can also deliver very much under those highly, highly tense situations as we're moving our way through round three right now. It's three to three at the uh, start of round three here, not at the end of round three, at the end of two rounds. We are back on the somewhat even footing over the course of these uh, opening rounds here. Afi Mime, first and second, Pat currently in hot pursuit in third, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mime for that second position and Carl currently acting as an independent adjudicator in fourth yeah. position, heading into sector three through the ice like we go and now onto the identity as well with the reverse checkpoint trigger which was so so close over the course of day one this time we tend to go for a bit of a deeper run through there to make sure that we actually activate it what is this round here only 0.2 of a second between them mime still on the pack however overtakes up here they were in an ace position ITB with an insane showing here, Afi with a good landing though, and this is the ace for ITB. What a great performance so far from them, really dominating in this round. I mean, you know, a point thirty-seven and a point five. those are serious times. Kaljini may be taking the identity a bit too safe there, and uh, well, with that he got overtaken, and it is ITB leading the race here for the first time on Solari's pick. ITB making a little bit of a breakaway run uh, happen, or maybe trying to set it afoot so that they can actually build upon that gap that they just made for themselves over the course of that third round. Heading into round number four from the perspective of Carl Jr., then following on with Mime as he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, his uh, fellow world champion. As we're moving on through with Afi, of course, going through the first of two Johnson's minds, of course, we've talked about it a little bit earlier, vice world champion last year. Here, currently ahead of the reigning world champion in the form of Carl Jr. Mime Pack, first and second right now, continuing to trade paces. That's a very nice ice slide on the part of all the players. Afi also looking in a pretty prime spot in third place. Yeah, very good line there from all the players. And it is Pack leading Afi Arbor, not too far behind either, as well as Mime. So this looks to be a draw, but Carl Jr. comes closer every so slightly. Gets a really good turnaround here. It was Afi having more speed, but traveled more distance, has a wider approach here, jumps so far up. So I do not think that he will play a role, but look at that, his teammate. Mime is in the lead, and it was also Pack not with the best line. Carl Jr. now in second place, so this looks to be a draw. Yes, because Afi messed up the apex there in this last corner, but look at that time from Mime as well. A point 26. Mime looking really.
really, really, really strong on this map. That last landing just after the ju final jump spin is also very important to get right True. because it conditions the speed that you can actually carry through the final corner. It's not necessarily a line problem, it's more of a landing uh, management problem that seems to have caught Afi off guard, allowing Carl Jr. to snipe him at the line for a, barely a few hundreds of a second in it as we're making our way through the next round with ITV on map point attempt number one. They do need an ace to actually close this particular map out. Yeah, they, it's do or die for them, uh, for Solary. I mean, they should not fall behind. They should get an ace or at least a victory here in order to make it. I mean, if, if it's two, three victories in a row, we go into overtime. So Solary has to deliver. We have seen Patton over the best line also sliding out. That messed up the gear. So he has to respawn all the way back. So Pack is completely out on that one. Then we have Mime on third position, also now with the best round. Carl Jr. and Afi batting it out for first and second. Yeah, indeed. And now it's all down to Carl's hands to try and force the status quo. Oh, and that's no. a very unfortunate side. This his entrance, the positioning, ah, that's so painful to see. And ITB have been handed map one on a silver plate through the first jump spin. They go in a very nice and conservative manner. They know that they have the lead up to actually afford to go a little bit slower. And that means 10 to 4 for ITB. That is such an unfortunate map to lose for Solary. What a great performance, though, from ITB. Looking super consistent. I think they only made one or two mistakes in the entirety of those rounds. So what a great showing off on the first pick from Solary. And ITB goes into the lead. ITB in the lead in the map one, which comes just before their map pick as well, which is very, very important on their side because it allows them to build a little bit of momentum forward to allow themselves to maybe have a bit more of a serene look, as we can see already Mime uh, having a little bit of a smug, maybe not a smile, but a tiny bit of a smug, a smug face maybe with uh, that particular performance, looking to be a, a bit more serene and uh, pretty happy with how this particular map turned out. Yeah, it turned out very well for them, but also were tremendously capitalizing from that very solid round where they got that ace and then just another ace from two mistakes from the world champions. Pack first deciding out, then also Carl Jr. not with a good showing uh, in that identity. And now we're gonna go to G-Force, the first pick from ITB. I think this map is just pure content. It's so good to see you can gain so much time everywhere. We have seen different lines here just in that part before the identity, the snow slide dirt section. And let's see how this goes. ITB won, Solary zero, and we on ITB's pick. So the match could have not started any better for the Orc from the United Kingdom. And with that, round one is underway here on map number two. The whole shot will be for mine with a 10.298 at the entrance into the first checkpoint of the map. Now onto the bobsleigh entry. Pack deciding to slow down a fair bit to try and land a little bit earlier on the side of the bobsleigh, but doesn't really manage to make it work that well. In the meantime, end of the first sector will be Mime Afi sliding on through in first and second. Carl in third and Pack just behind him in before managing to bridge the gap back and make it a little bit of a harder pursuit through the middle of the map. They are already a little bit ahead, so you can see why ITB maybe has picked this map, but this part here, very important, Afi with a mistake, so he's out on that round just when I talk about that, and all of a sudden, it's Solary going into the lead here, Mime demoting from P1 to P3, but he can still do some damage. Afi will not play a role, he's four seconds behind. Carl Jr., Mime and Pack are fighting it out. Mime with good speed, though, will overtake Carl Jr., but this all coming down to the end. This is insanely close between all of those players. Who's gonna get that victory? Mime going a bit further up. Will that go for a different line? Is the speed turning out well for the Polish player, for the Vice World Champion? Looking good, he can snipe both players. Is it enough for the draw here on that first round? I don't think so. It is not enough because he hit the last possible section before the ending, not the fastest times, but such a close fight between them. Carl Jr. first, Mime second, and Peg on third, and we're gonna start off with another victory. Mime giving it a red hot go at the final part of the identity, trying to go a little bit higher on the bobsleigh at the exit of that first roll ride, just to get sure that he actually comes across the track to take that little bit of a hump to actually yeah. go for a little bit of a lower line and try to nosedive so he can get ground contact earlier. And you could see it paid off dividends, but he was going from a little bit too far back to be able to make that move stick. Yeah, that and eventually was maybe a bit too of a different line for him or something like that. Something just didn't work out in his favor. So that is unfortunate, but still he got that second position to deny that ace from Solary. And uh, well, it just starts like the first map. So now a victory for ITB and it's 3-3 three to three again. Afi with a great start, doesn't make a mistake in this round. So far he has made a mistake here in the last round. Looking good for Mime as well, doesn't clip. You really want to go very inside there in order to travel less distance. But it is Pack leading, Pack on a monstrous time right now. And Carl Jr. also accompanies him here, maybe into the top two. 
Maybe into the top two indeed, they might be a company, but yeah, Pac on an absolute stormer of the time as he currently streaks away into the lead by close to four tenths of a second. Carl and Afi going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wheel to wheel before the first wall right there of this identity section. Currently, let's see at the splits, 102.0. We might be hitting into the 111s already on this particular round. Pac and Carl, first and second. Afi continue to be right in the coattails of Carl's car. It's not going to be enough for the Swiss man. 0.968 for Pac indeed with dip into the 111s. And Carl Jr. continuing to hold on to second place. And it will be the ace for Solo Re and one that is very much needed, 5-1. to one. Very much needed. That was a bit of a relief, or a lot of relief that was released there. You could have seen Pac also just taking a deep breather after that round. And also very nice time. A 111 is serious business. So good time there from the 2016 world champion. Pac with another great start. And I'm slowing down a bit. Look how far ahead Pac is already, but the dirt tip is really decisive. But also Carl Jr. attacks Afi, who's right now in second, but oh, maybe taps the brake too much that you can utilize in order to get that across. Also Mime with a mistake, so it's a two-horse fight for that first position between Pac and Afi. It's a very important round for ITB to at least get a draw on and not let Solary extend the gap even further. But Afi with a mistake and Carl Jr. will also overtake him. This is looking disastrous for ITB because Mime also had to respawn. This is an ace for Solary. This is looking like an ace for Solary despite all the trials and tribulations from Carl Jr. at the box line, marking the end of Sector 1 where Mime got also caught off guard and continuing to be in a respawn chain at this point which is very unfortunate for the man from ITB. Pack in the meantime, continuing to just manage the race from up front. It's a very, very slow entry into that first wall right there on the side of Carl Jr., which would be allowing, would be allowing Afi to catch up in normal circumstances. That was a very low jump on the side of Carl Jr. as well. And Pack doesn't even go for the final wall right, just ups for the safe finish and thus guarantees first and <coughs> second along with Carl Jr. And that's a second consecutive ace for Solary, who immediately retaliates to the map point from ITB a little bit earlier to get a map point on their own as well. Map point attempt number one but crash heavy rounds here, but also very smart decision making from Pack and Carl Jr. to go more conservative there because those kind of transitions can knock you or mess you up so much. So it's 8 to 1 <clears throat> for Solary and it is track point for them. Do we see teams just exchanging wins here on their map picks? This will be important for Solary to win as we will jump into map number 3 after that when we get definitely going to see map 5 if Solary takes it home. ITB has to catch up 8 points or 7 points, 8 points to go into the lead. But this round looks a bit closer. Pack, the only player who has fallen behind a little bit. No one failing the dirt zoop in this round and it's Afi and Mime fighting it out with the five-time world champion from Canada, who has also played the Twitch Rivals event together with Serrator just one week ago, and he looks great in this round. This section, very important to get well. Mime and Kaljuni get it really good. Let's see Kaljuni, who has gotten a bit of an inside line. We see Avi with a respawn, Pack also with a slight mistake, so it's again only two players left in this round. Both players getting caught out of the setup for the box slide, the 180 box slide to the right-hand side after the bobsleigh part. Carl Jr. looking to have a little bit of a bubble over the course of the uh, bobsleigh section, but in the meantime, it's Mime who has not put a foot wrong so far in this round, looking to try and make a good impression, but he had to go dive for a very, very late oh exit from the wall, God. right? It looks to be insanely close. Mime manages to make it work, but it was looking oh so shaky. Carl Jr. with a little bit of a low line is going to compromise this speed all the way through that final U-turn, and thus Mime salvages a draw, and he manages to extract one more round here on GeForce with 112.195. That was an insane identity from mine, by the way, with that low, low jump where he just gathered up so much speed. So good job there from mine. But I mean, 92, they have to get two aces in a row and then at least a victory in round number three. So this is this is it. Clutch or kick? We have seen a 9-2 situation already. I think that was in the wild match where they have won then or have gotten an ace. I think that was even on this map if I recall correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's see. Solary only needs the second place and then the first map will be taken for them and the scoreline would be 1-1. The Good. score would be 1-1. Yeah. to one. Currently, uh, Pack assuming the lead of the race with Mime and Afi second and third. We group with Carl Jr., so we got a freeway fight for the second position, but Pack is still not that far off. He's still within reach of the top two battle at the moment. And unfortunately, we had a very heavy bubble on the side of Carl, who was forced to kind of rein that in by slowing down a little bit midway through the 180 uh, bump section. And now Afi taking advantage of that to promote himself a spot into second place as Pack seems to slow down as well. The gear is not managing to be kept on the side of the Englishman as Afi and Mime 
once again take advantage of that little slip up to try and build a gap up ahead. Currently, he's first and second. Mind oh, going for Sinitra line. Afi oh. having barely clipped at the very top of the barrier and thus promoting Carl and Pack into second and third place, which is just what the doctor ordered for Team Solary right now. Mine may have one individually, but it does not matter because his teammate is not there to help him validate the ace that was so sorely needed to keep the dream alive. And thus, it will be 10 3 for Solary who take their first map of the series. Afi with a slight clip there in this corner, but also Pack steering when the car gears up. So he was in a drifting movement, thus losing all his speed, or a lot of speed, in those kind of uh, terms, as we can say. So the scoreline is one to one, and we will go to the next map, which is the map of a thousand turns, Twisted. I really look forward to that one. Oh yeah, my god, twisted, this will be so good. Twisted, of course. Uh, very flowy track in nature, which is kind of broken by two snake runs. One in the middle that marks the start of Sector 2, very conveniently. Then we also have a triple apex right-hander that marks the end of Sector 2 in the beginning of Sector 3 with the transition into the ramp that uh, has to have a very, very specific setup because otherwise you tend to lose a lot of speed through the transition. And then the ending snake run through the identity and the final corner with a deceptively blind approach because it is a negative camber corner yeah. of sorts to the right and then falls away to the left. You can very easily fall prey to that and thus have your car fall away and head into the outside wall completely compromising your run. This turn is deceiving indeed and we have seen a lot of mistakes there but also this map to sum up is a perfect mixture between full speed and very tight drifts that players have to execute with some speed slides as well here and there but it is uh, also the second pick from Solary and the first mistake has been done by Mime who's falling quite far behind just before a rather speedy section so he's half a second behind. Kaujin and Pag look to take their first good chunk of points. They look to take their first good chunk of points. Well, in the meantime, Afi is trying to have a little bit of a word about that. Still sitting in the, the top three positions. Pack trying to make the move on the, the Swiss. Currently, he's still continuing to hang on as we go hard on the bricks again for the second snake run with that very, very tight hairpin. And now through the negative camber stuff we go. A little bit of airtime actually for Kaujin, which is going to slow him down dramatically. This is the opportunity for Afi to try and gain a position, but he gets airtime of his own through the final corner that we talked about. And it will be the ace with both solo members finishing hand in hand. Point at 90 for Carl Jr. and a point. 0.916 for Pack, 3 0 at the end of round one for Team Blue. And also a new PB here for Carl Jr., only a couple of uh, tens behind Paco's just very impressive world record where he not only got a very fast start, the second fastest that we have witnessed, it, witnessed but also probably the best identity that we have seen with a small flick after that a penultimate drift that sets himself up so well for that last left turn of this map. So uh, I want to see this world record getting beaten, but if someone can do it, it is Gwen. And of course, we're going to see Gwen today. And hopefully also this map will be played. But let's focus on round number two, because it's Carl Jr., Mime and Pack now in the mix. But Mime again with a mistake there. And also Afi, not with the best showing in this round. Yeah, only Carl Jr. not uh, having had any slip-ups through that first snake run at the beginning of Sector 2. Pack, Afi having uh, had a little bit of a trouble at the entry there, but both Pack and Mime clipping at the very, very tightest section of that first snake run. And so the gaps have opened up quite significantly. You can see a quarter of a second between the two Solary teammates, and then four tenths between Carl and Afi from first through third, and then Mime one second down, and again, that little hit at the second apex there at the second hairpin from Afi is going to penalize him even more as we make our way through the final corner. Watch out for doing get too much airtime. Carl Pack, first second again, second consecutive ace for Solary, six nil. And they also know how to play the format. They could have saved a bit, 104.09, of course, at the time that we probably both couldn't beat, um, like just by hunting this map, but they were just Playing it safe, don't make a mistake. Gamers first, for example, yesterday, they were unnecessarily, in my opinion, pushing and just making mistakes there. And well, now it is Pack with a mistake, so he's already a bit further behind. But it is now Afi and Mime who have to capitalize on that. They need to get first and second to stay somewhat alive. Even one point for Solary would be so huge, even if Pack, uh, even if Caljunia only gets second position. So it is Mime and Afi should not make a mistake in this corner. But look at this apex from Caljunia. So well done, and he has such a, like, more speed, less distance traveled, and he will go up into first position. He listened to the call, tight chicane, right entry, keep in on the right, uh, on the left-hander after that, and uh, yeah, he managed to make it work beautifully, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mime for the lead of this race. Currently, Afi taking a bit of packs into the proceedings, falling down to third place, about a, half, a tenth and a half down compared to the leader. As we go through that final run through the identity here on this round, Carl still sitting in the lead, about one car length ahead, a bit too early on the turn in for Mime, clobbering the wall with the nose cone and thus Carl will have an undisputed victory individually speaking but with the top and bottom performance on Solary this round despite the point eight forty four from Carl it will be the status quo still standing still a six point lead two aces worth of points in the bag for Solary as they get onto 
map point number two. Yeah, so this draw heavily favors Solar because they are going into a seven point, like in the seven point terrain, and that means with an ace, they can just win their second pick. So, and also this likes, looks like a different showing for Solary than on Tempest. Very good performance from them. So Solary leads 7-1, to one, and let's see what they can do in this round. Mime not with the fastest start, Afihar in the lead, and also good drift from Mime brings the Vice World Champion of 2022 back into the mix. Good start from all the players so far. Kaljin and Mime just a little bit further behind Afi and Pack, and let's see what Afi can do against Pack. He has a really good approach into this last section of the map. Now onto the triple right-hander, nice clip at the second apex there on the side of Afi, managing to keep himself right on level footing with Pack, and actually even taking charge at the split, 45.112. We might be heading into a low 104.1 or 0 .0, even or maybe even a 103 if we get a great identity on the side of the leaders. Pack, Afi, Carl, and Mime. The gap has been closed up until this point where Kaljinir had a little bit of a slowdown trying to get the wheels back on. Afi versus Pack to the line! Is it going to be enough? For one thousandth of a second, it will be Pack winning with a .750. 0 .001, that is the first time we've seen that today and over the course of the entire weekend even. One thousand of a second between those players there and also an important victory for Solary. Only one point away from winning this map. So one thousand of a second. We haven't seen a draw yet, maybe in this round, because this match has been heated up quite a bit here. And let's see what the start from Carl Jr. is bringing him. He finds himself in the lead. Afi is, again, a little bit further behind. Mime also not with a perfect start compared to Pax and Carl Jr. start that they have uh, done in this round. So Pack currently in the lead. Carl Jr. also in there. They only need a second place, though. And then the map goes into their favor, and they will go into the lead. On to this final sector we go. Now with the triple right-hander coming up, let's see Pack again. Such a clean second and third apex there through that triple right, sending himself perfectly for the starter. That's very high-speed section. Mime slotting himself in second place. In the meantime, Afi catching back up to Carl Jr. to mount the challenge for third place. Now trying to make the move for third place against the Carl Jr. and catching up to his teammate to promote himself up into P2, individually speaking. But right now, That's what they're more time. concerned about, it's that Pac, is who is time. on the sick point time six. indeed. <laughs> it is a point six. What a prediction. Nostradamus is in the place, ladies and gentlemen. Point six thirty-three, eight hundredths away from Paco's record. And thus it will be Ooh. a slam dunk victory for Solari on a 10 to 3 score. And also a similar identity to Paco there. Didn't lose any time, so what a nice time. And also, Gwen checkpoint yesterday was 0.11 faster. Just to give you guys a resemblance to that. So now we're going to go to Edge, a map that doesn't really have an identity, but it's just heavily RPG styled. Yeah, very consistent theme all over the course of this map, and there's plenty of stuff to look forward to, such as the jump onto the ramp that you've seen, the transfer jump as well, and then the final section, when we've seen a couple people uh, actually uh, break their teeth in, uh, so, so to speak, to translate literally a French expression, where unfortunately we've had a few uh, misalignments here and there, costing a lot of round wins, actually, for some of these teams as we're getting underway with our very first round here on Edge. Yeah, so Solary has a 100% win rate on this map with a track record of 20 to, 20 to 6. So that is crazy. Out of nine rounds, they got three aces. So they're looking strong, but not in the start of this round. But just when I think about that, it is Mime crashing and having to respawn. So he's out on that one. It is called Junior and Pack just behind Afi, but the gaps are already quite big in this round. And I do think that uh, Mime just wants to fill the feed with some respawns there, as uh, he might have been stuck on some of the speed checks at the start. But the fight for first position is not just over because Carl Jr. is chasing down Afi here, and they could maybe get a victory in this round. On average, the uh, on average, as you uh, told, as you uh, alluded to uh, yesterday, we had on average four seconds of a gap between each player. As a result of that very very punishing nature of some of the sections that we actually run through here on engines, we make our way through the transfer right now on the side of Afi, who's got a comfortable quote unquote. Half a second lead on the side of uh, the man from ITB, looking to be pretty solid on the f his footing here on his particular uh, round here. The time will be a .495, starting off in a pretty reasonable fashion in terms of the pace. It's right within the ballpark of that uh, half a second buff from butter zone that we find ourselves usually when it comes to round times. But of course, at this level, we're going to go even further down. Yeah, so the average from Solary is actually on this map a 105.63. So we are talking about that in average, the players are four seconds behind the world record on this map. So that is just insanely consistent. They hardly crash on this map, and consistency just wins games in that way. You know, world records wins rounds, but consistency wins games in that way. So also Afi with a good time, a point four there, I think it was, or yeah, point 49 there, 
So he has been also showing a great uh, round there, but Mime, who has set a point 28 here yesterday, was not able to keep up with the pace in that round, making too many mistakes. But now he finds himself in the mix, so he and his teammate can maybe go up into first and second. And yes, they will do that. Bear in mind, it's their second pick, and they want to equalize the scoreline. We could see the first match that could go into six round, uh, six maps. Onto the reverse sector we go on the side of Carl Jr. and uh, flicking a little bit through the perspectives. Oh, Pac, that was a very, very shaky entry into that reverse booster, which is going to be allowing Mime oh, to seize first no. place. And that little hit of the support pillar from the checkpoint is going to be compounding the chances of the Englishman even more and thus promote Afi into second place. They have just potentially given away an ace there to ITB as we make our way through our finals. Couple of jumps here before the finish line, and it will be Mime winning individually with a point. 252, two tenths wow. clear of his teammate, and thus it will be nice ITB, time. the Knights taking the lead, 4-1. to one. Nice time there from Mime, definitely not blundering in this round, so that was a good showing and an ace for ITB, already almost being in close proximity towards the points that Solary has uh, gotten scored against them in just two rounds, but now it is Afi with a mistake and we only see Mime left, so this could be the answer from Solary because they can get the counter ace. They can get the counter ace, but they must not have slip-ups of their own. Right now they're taking advantage of the mistake from Afi and also Mime having a little bit too tight of a turning radius through that uh, hairpin marking the end of the first sector. Tries to compensate with a little bit of a lower jump, I'm assuming, towards the ramp at the start of sector two, but so far it is still Pack and Car leading, although we have a very heavy clip on the side of Pack just before the slowdown hill, and thus it will be promoting ba Mime back up into second position heading into the reverse booster now rocking the start of sector three my oh. oh that double clip as well with the back wheels manages to save it to keep that second place alive but oh my goodness the heart flutters aside on the part of mime you can see stone cold stone cold reaction there from mime just sticking to the plan calm and collected those things can happen but i think mime certainly knows what to do also pack releasing there oh, but mime with a very risky and shaky ending there was still able to get it through and denying the ace towards Solary, really important there. But I mean, you can get that reactive boost earlier, but it's very risky as you can see there. You can catch no grip there and just lose a lot of time and just over jump the reactive boost down. Yeah, indeed. This is uh, something that can uh, definitely happen. Or so that little misalignment uh, go a little bit too far to the left uh, before the penultimate yeah. platform. And then you can risk having actually a plastic bounce that was directly sent you off of the track. That has happened before and we are not safe from uh, not seeing happening again. We could definitely see that happen at some point. Who knows? In the meantime, on our next round we go at the halfway mark. We are already for ITB through this sec uh, particular fourth map of the proceedings. And in the meantime, through first sector, it's Afi, Carl, Mime and Pac currently in that order, although Pack has slowed down dramatically, trying to uh, recoup a little bit of lost time through Sector 2, I presume. Yeah, I think Pack lost the gear there or just didn't have the best line, so he finds himself behind. But also Mime clipping there. Will he be able to clear that speed check? Yes, but he lost so much time on that penalty surface section. But let's follow Mime again, the player from Poland who has shown very solid performances in the past. But in this round, it seems like he's one second behind, so he will not play a role. Carl Jr. and Pack can come ever so slightly closer towards ITB, but also Afi with an insanely low jump. Mime is out on this round. What will happen in the ending? Carl Jr. versus Afi. Afi now with the best entry, and it could even be an ace because Afi doesn't have any speed. And Carl Jr. and Pack will go into the lead. It is 6-5 to five in favor for Solary. Afi with a shaky ending there will not get that first position, not even second. It is the ace for Solary. Wrong place, wrong time, just a little bit too far off to the left, a little bit too early, and thus he did not actually land on the flush side of the wall, yeah. but ended up getting the little bit of the uh, corner bit that ends up giving him a bounce, which compromises his line and delays his entry, thus robbing him of any kind of speed. But also, the exit is going to be a lot more compromised because of that little bounce courtesy of Afi, and thus Solary flip a two-point deficit into a one-point lead to retake the reins here in this map just before this Sector 1 is done and dusted here on this round. It will be Pac, Afi, Carl Jr. regroup from first through third and then a little bit further behind mine. Yeah, so aces are just the way you want to get, you just want to get an ace. They're very overpowered and can just give, yeah, bring you back into the map. It looked really good for ITB, but also in this round, it's even closer. So it's hard to tell who's going to win that one. Mime going pretty far up. They has more speed into this backward section. They're working out good for all the players. It is a very close round concerning it's a very hard RPG map. It looks easy, but it's quite deceiving. I think um, <laughs> a lot of crashes uh, will happen if you discover this map for the first time. But look at that low jump here from ITB again. Afi and Mime are coming closer. Carl Jr. with more speed. Pack is long gone. The question is who will, will get that second position or will get third? It is Carl Jr. overtaking and Pack with a point 29. Carl Jr. with a great snipe. Good 
good amount of speed, and that was also due to that higher jump on that uh, quarter pipe there, just before the penultimate or yeah, penultimate no last checkpoint it was. Yeah, indeed, but strong, strong showing on the Solary side. Carl with a really, really great finish to allow a victory to be banked on the side of Solary, and Pack, of course, with that point two ninety four, having a really, really solid time in the books here on that previous round. Moving on from the perspective of the Canadian, Carl Anthony Cloutier, Carl Jr. currently sitting right in the middle of the leading group. Through the first sector we go will be Afi Mime in the splits as we see Carl running a little bit out wide at the exit of that hairpin before the split at the first sector. Through the ramp we go, Pack managing to get a little bit of speed, but also Carl Jr. not with the best of landings there. This is the round for ITB to win, but Pack with an insane section there, going into the lead. Mime and Alfie have to get that ace in order to regain the lead. A victory would be okay, then we would go into a decisive last round by the looks of it. But I mean, no, the score then is 9-8, uh, so not that like that. But still, it could be the last round here already if Solary gets first and third position. But Carl Jr. is too far behind. Afi and Mime in the lead. Pack is coming close. It's such a close fight between them. Afi with a good entry. Pack is also not too far behind. It's oh. so close between the players. Pack, Afi and Mime. It is Afi and Mime tied to the line here. And that is the ace for ITB. The first tie that we have seen to the thousand. You couldn't ask for a better photo finish than that. 0.432 each and both teams now wow. on map point. Solary, of course, trying to take themselves onto a two map buffer to actually see ITB coming and ITB trying to even the scales once more to try and make it a bit more of an interesting fight, which has already been interesting since the beginning of this particular series. And it will be all on this round right now. And it's all down to Solary to try and salvage an ace from this. Even if they get a victory, they could still take this thing into overtime to try and draw this uh, map a little bit out more. But ITB have had some very strong showings, especially in the middle and the final sector, courtesy of their low line at the transfer, and yeah. so they're going to have to capitalize on that very heavily oh, here. Call oh, Call Jr. No. and Peck both with a mistake there. I don't believe that both with a synchronous mistake, and they are out on this round. ITB will most likely, I mean, almost certainly, win their second pick here. Two mistakes from Peck and Call Jr. reminds me of map number one, where both players have crumbled as well. Maybe the nerves are showing for them. The scoreline is 2-2, two to two, and we will definitely go to map number six today. Afi just has to play the format, just has to go safe. Mime also with a conservative entry here, but it doesn't matter. It is ITB with the ace, and the scoreline is 2-2. Two 2-2 to two. Two, two with the final score on this map of 12-8. to eight. That is such a huge, huge breakdown that happened at the very same section. It was at the very tight bridge that, that fall down happened for both Carl and Pack. Carl coming up the worst for wear, of course, having to respawn. Pack continued on, but having severely reduced speed as a result of this. And now, I mean, it's pretty much game on. I mean, we're going to be heading onto best our next map, three. which is going to be Valley. It will be literally at this time a best of three. Teams have to get to the four point threshold or the four map threshold for map wins in order to win it. And now we're going to go to beautiful Valley. Not only a beautiful environment in Trackmania Turbo and Trackmania 2, but also a map in the Trackmania World Championship of 2023. Very precise identity, as you can see here, where you have to jump through that gate because you have Fragile attached to your car beforehand and also then do a 180 turn freewheeled times two. Indeed. In the meantime, we're getting ready for the start of map number five here in this series. It's still all to play for on this opening game of the day in this upper bracket final in Group A between Solary and ITB. Of course, at stake for either team. Seed one in their group and is seeding directly in the semi-final for tomorrow. In the meantime, following along with Mime, through the end of the first sector, going solo over the barrier. Split into the first sector will be Mime, Pack, Carl, and Afi in that order, with already a rift, as I like to call it, between the top two and the bottom two being clearly yeah. separated for that particular section. Now, through the uh, Fragile Reactor Boost section where the scales have been somewhat evened, but very, very briefly before that high-speed jump where you try to set yourself up to the right before beautiful flowing uphill. into the left-hander. Yeah, beautiful uphill left turn there from Afi. There used to be a bug set on that one, but this one has been uh, deleted due to a no-break block that has been added. There you can see the Fragile, so you have to jump through that gate to get rid of that. There's a reset into a freewheel section, packed with a good landing. Mime is quite forehead. Afi not with the best entry into the last section, so he has to slow down a lot just before the booster. But Mime looks to be on a great time. Carl Jr. is overtaking Afi in this section, but Afi with a bit more speed get to the line. It is so close. It is Carl Jr. staying ahead. And look at that time from Mime as well, the first sub. 108, and we start things off with a draw. Good time for Mime. Pack on second, Kaljini on third.
Indeed, and uh, yeah, that's ending between uh, Afi and Carl Jr. Arking, Afi looking to have a little bit more speed on the entry to the final corner with the approach that he had, but Carl Jr. seemed to have had the gap to be able to somewhat manage that, and even though it was slim pickings, six thousandths of a second, the Canadian still held on, and thus prevented ITP from getting an early lead at the end of this opening round. Yeah, so what a great first round. This time, Pack is falling a bit further behind, but it seems like he's not giving up. The player for Solary here, the UK player, the 2006 16 world champion, so many individual, great individual results, but has been a bit silent around him. Um, just not the world championship or the GMGL season, but he always redeems himself. He always comes back strong, and you can see it here as he brings on a great performance. Maybe not in this round, but I think he can make it happen. Yeah, we're definitely going to be seeing him some, uh, putting on some monster performances. We've already seen it over the course of this game and over the course of day one, of course. In the meantime, Carl, my Mafi, one, two, three, and Mime going way too tight on that entry into the first game, and thus will be bonking the side of the gate. Afi taking oh, over the lead, but no. himself missing up the lineup for the chicane, and thus Solary will be grabbing the ace gladly as we see a late apex approach on that final uh, left tender on the side of Pack. Point two eighty nine on the side of Carl, two tenths clear of his teammates, and that was such. Uh, an unfortunate mis uh, set of mistakes on the side of ITB at the start of this identity, and thus Solary take the lead 4-1. to Two mistakes can be detrimental in this kind of format. Aces, are you just want to avoid getting aced, and that is what happened to ITB here. I mean, that's Solary's last pick of this series, so that's what you also have to consider, right? So they are favorite on this map just concerning the win pick ratio it is used to be 70 percent but yesterday we have seen a lot of teams not winning their own picks because it has been 4-0 4-1 scores respectively but now it is Afi making another mistake so Carl and Pack can get another ace. Carl and Pack can get another ace as uh, Pack is coming back from a long way because he had a little bit of a mishap as well at the start of this round seems to have had a bit of a clip before the double right hander and the reactor boost sector but he manages to come off the better for wear thanks to the trials and tribulations of the ITB side and uh, yeah currently Carl streaking away compared to uh, his teammate by about three tenths of a second himself about a tenth ahead of mine going so close to hitting the pillar on the side of the gate but look at mine going very very close hunting down Pack at the moment trying oh. to make a move stick. Pack forced to release very heavily. Can Mime take advantage of that with a late apex entry? Karjun looking a little bit slow to the line. It's not enough for the Polish player from ITB. And it's a second consecutive ace in three rounds for Solary, who are on map point number three. And also Solary playing the format out here very well. First and second, not the fastest times. Half a second behind the world record from Carl Jr. that was set yesterday against uh, Wild uh, in the last round, actually, where they also have gotten an ace. So Solary looking very solid here to take that home. It is 7-1 right now. So let's see, can they already close it out here in just four rounds and then go into the lead and then have a chance of winning this match on uh, ITB's last pick here on map number six. So let's see what will happen as we see Pack with a good start. But everyone got it so well. Pack with good amount of speed. Mime and Carl Jr. on first and second. Mining through the ring CP jump right now. Carl Mime still towing toe to toe. Afi going, making, uh, going about making up ground here on this long left-hander in the dirt at the start of Sector 3. Through the box slide we go. All four cars wow. regrouped within each other's goals. Less than a tenth between first and last. Heading into the identity right now towards the end of this round. Pack and Carl potentially with an ace on their hands. Mime continuing to try and having a word with it. Now Afi also having a little bit of a word edgewise. Moving up into first place. Mime in second position as well. ITB trying to salvage another round from the brink of being defeated here on Valley. And it is going to be a new record with a point a .52 courtesy of the Swiss and a point .9 as well on the side of Mime, and thus what was a six-point deficit gets bridged back down to a three-point deficit. ITB find them footing again and are ready to bounce back. Imagine being la uh, third with a point ten. What a great round that was here from all players, but it is a new world record from Afi, and also Mime was not too far behind. Seven hundredths of a second. The checkpoints were insane, so very, very good round, and I think that's the taste, or just, just a quite quick uh, sneak peek for what will happen on day number two. But that is the momentum that ITB is in need of. Also, Afi and Pack are in the fight again. Point three ahead of Carl Jr. right now. So that is another great round that we are witnessing. Mime also going to the fight here, but it is Pack with such a good round. Let's see, can he set another new world record? Then he set a new world record. Can he set the world alight with a new time? And again, the rift continuing to persist. Pack and Afi are in another world at this present moment here on this round. No ace for Solary unless we might see a blunder from Afi. We're gonna have to see 
Carl Jr. trying to go for the launch for P2. It's not working for now. Can he try to go for a last ditch effort in the long 180 lev? Afi going all the way across the track. Can Carl try to capitalize on that? The answer is a no. Pack in the meantime, finishing with a point nine thirty three. Seems to have lost a little bit in the identity, but he still finishes three tenths clear of Afi. Solari still in the lead by about four points. And they now have a bit more of a palatable situation because as long as someone keeps it individually in second position, that's it. The map goes to Solari. I mean pack actually gained time at the identity because Mime had a Afi had a 0.2 checkpoint before the identity and it was Pack having a 0.4 checkpoint. So maybe it was the turn, the first or second turn, but still a very, very good round here from Pack. A 0.9 is serious business in this round. And now Solary only need of one point to take home their third map win in this very, very heated up series here. But it is Mime in the lead and also Afi is not too far behind. Didn't get the best speed over that bug slide here. And we can see Carl Jr. and Pack still fighting it out here for that second position. Pack going with a very very early ending before the long left hander in the dirt. Currently, it's Mime assuming the lead, but right now, top and tail is oh, not enough. Afi. They need to actually go for the box slide, just like Afi did, to try and make a bit of an impression on the Solary boys. But these guys are very tough to impress. They are very, very consistent under pressure Good right landing. now. Back, Carl, second, third. They're just where they need to be. As long as someone is second, it's done. Mime continuing to hold the lead, but still in hot pursuit from the Solary duo of Carl and Pack. Through the final corner we go. Mime holding on for dear life, but it's not going to be enough. ITB try as they might, they will not defeat Solary and not topple them on Valley. 10 to 6 at the end of this match. At the end of this map even. 12 hundreds between first and last there. What a great ending from Afi. If the track was a bit longer, you could have seen. He jumped into the ending, he would have had it, but it wasn't meant to be. So we're going to go into the penultimate map of this series. It will be Surf that we're going to see here. And now we got to say, your move, ITB. This is now that you need to capitalize because remember, this is an ITB map pick that we're back on here. The last ITB map pick before we go into the decider of that match, which will be game number seven, of course, and surf this particular map. The identity, of course, being the reactor glider section, especially the first chicane where you use the brake to actually pivot the car to set yourself up for the chicane so that you have the straightest line possible through that chicane, right then left, but also watch out for the plastic exit at that very section because the flag mast is waiting for you as we're getting ready for round one and it is underway. Okay, to bring you some stats as well, it is ITB having the best average on this map with a 101.49 and it is Solary just 0.35 behind. But look who has the world record, it is Pack. Thomas Cole, 1 minute 0.532, so he's prepared on this map. And let's see, ITB's last pick and right now off to a very good start. So it looks to be, I think we're gonna see map seven. It continues like that. Afi and Mime leading the round right now. Carl Jr. quite far behind Pack hitting the post. And this is the ace for ITB if they do not mess up the ending. But keep in mind, there's a dirt zoop that you have to do. There is indeed a dirt zoop that uh, you no, have to no, do. It, it, there is it, a it, reactor zoop yeah, entry you know, exactly. before the, uh, <laughs> you need to avoid the splash at the entry into the glider section. This is what ends up costing you so much time here at the start of this third sector. But right now, Afi and Mime hand in hand trying to do a tandem finish together, maybe a photo finish just like we witnessed a few rounds ago. To the line they go together with a point nine oh eight and a point, uh, I guess I could say point nine five two here, judging by the gaps from Afi, yep. and it will be first strike to ITB 3-0. 3-0, great start, dream start for them on this map. And well, I do think that this round is already very decisive for Solary because they should really avoid a victory against them. They should at least get a draw, but even that will not really get them somewhere because then ITB can take it home here in just two rounds after that. However, Afi didn't get the best start into the uh, foot bath section, as you already ca always call it like that. But Mime again leading. What a great performance from the Polish player. Carl Jr. and Pack are also in there. And look at the line here from Afi, but hits a little bit. Loses control. Three-way fight for the first position. Manages to get away with it, but also we see uh, quite a bit of airtime on the side of Pack through the hill on the plastic. So we're down to a two-horse race for the lead between Mime and Carl Jr. at the moment. Currently going through the long outside dirt line. Mime and Carl, wheel to wheel, ghost within ghost almost at the final split. Three thousands between first and second, but we get a little bit of a splash on the side of Mime, it seems like, but he already comes back at him to try and fight for the individual win, to try and settle a draw here through the final hairpin. It's not going to be enough. Carl wins with a point six ninety one, sixty seven thousands ahead of pa uh, Mime, Pack in third, Afi in P4, but by the tiniest of margins as well, about five hundredths of a second, give or take, and thus Solary will back two points and will allow themselves to close the back gap back up and start a little bit of a fight back versus ITB here. Both players won their individual fights, so 
though Solary with what they were in need of a victory. So they're coming ever so slightly closer towards ITB, but still ITB two points in the lead due to that ace that they have gotten in round number one. Maim and Alfie off to a great start. Cole Jr. and Pack as well. This is such a nice round to follow here. However, Cole Jr. sacrificed a bit of speed. Point 15 behind Maim already, who is on a great start and looking really solid on this map. Now going to this tight slide on a super reactor boost up section. And it is Maim and Pack in the lead. Afi on third, getting demoted to fourth even. Cole Jr. overtaking. It's between Pack and Maim for the ending. Afi getting caught off guard at the exit of the reactor glider uh, chicane there. Currently, we're seeing again the rift between top two and bottom two. Carl now losing a little bit compared to Afi for third place and doesn't get the proper entry into the glider. Part of the identity, Mime overtaking back oh for first no. place. That's such an unfortunate bunk there on the side of the Polish player, promoting everybody up a place, including Kelgen up to third. Back very slow at the air pin, but manages to make it work with a point seven ninety seven two tenths clear of Afi. Carl in third, and thus it is another victory in the books for Solary, and they managed to wane the gap back down to a single point. Still, ITB with the advantage, but the gap is now five to four. And that is the second DNF from ITB on this map. You can see it's very costly on this map if you hit um, something just when you cross a checkpoint because the double respawn will send you all the way back and uh, Fragile will not go on if you just crash uh, or if you, if you pass a checkpoint. So uh, you can solely not steer. So that was DNF number two for ITB on this map in total. So let's jump into the next round. Solary coming closer. Round number four will decide a lot here. Number four on the side a lot indeed as we enter the foot bath here. The exit of the loop, that's such an unfortunate touch on the inside of the 90 left here before this hairpin on the side of Mime and thus he will be left down in the doldrums. A second down, two seconds down even at the end of the first sector compared to his teammate Afi currently assuming the lead, managing to make it through the uh, reactor chicane nice and clean this time, doesn't get caught off thrice as we make our way through this uh, second sector at the start of sector three with Carl Jr. heading into the long uh, dirt left-hander, right-hander rather unfortunately we have a little bit of a clip from the left here on the side of Afi and thus Carl and Pack get promoted into a very, very favorable position with an ace potentially on the cards. Afi trying to make amends, trying to split oh, the two Pac. apart. That little touch from Pack is going to cost him dearly, forcing him to respawn. Mine promoted up to third place as well. And that is an ace thrown in the bin on the side of Solary with Afi and Mime taking advantage of the mistake from the Englishman to move up into second and third. And thus ITB retain their lead by the skin of their teeth. Still, that solitary point in favor for them. Very important there that Afi did lose so much in that outside dirt section there he could have lost everything and also could have given Solary that ace but he was staying strong he just stick to the game plan didn't do another mistake there and it's a draw so ITB is still in the lead and look at that line from Mime they're going for that nose dive to get some more speed in that section so a very smart left steer movement and look how much it gains him it seems like this is a good line but Mime with a mistake there in exchange so he's behind so it's between Carl Jr. Pack and Afi in that last part of the track. Yeah, now Afi once again left to pick up the slack. Very unfortunate uh, the early demise of the round from Mime because it looked oh so promising with that very, very fast first sector, but it all came undone with that little touch through the slalom. Now Pack, Carl, first and second, and that's again twice in two rounds that Afi has the left rear barely brush against the wall, costing him very, very much a lot of time and a lot of points here because now the ace will surely go the way of Team Solary. Through the final hairpin we go with Carl and Pack to the line. 0.845, a tenth and a half apart between first and second. And thus Solary flip a one point deficit to a two point lead and they move on to match point. Match point for Solary. Only a victory is needed for them and then they will take it home. They will uh, crush their opponents on this map. Uh, give or take because ITB had a good showing but just Afi with those two individual mistakes but now we see the door opener it is Pack with a first major mistake and also Carl Jr. not being too far behind we could still see map number seven if Maim and Afi just stick to the plan here and will win that round hand in hand this could happen but Carl Jr. is not too far behind has a point 69 as a PB on this map so he's able to go very fast on this map it is point 25 though the gap is rising and it seems like Maim and Afi are going to take it this is the opportunity that ITB relishes that they need to seize at any moment to try and force this into game seven Maim currently having stricked away into the lead now Afi under threat from Carl Jr. for that second position to try and bring a point home for Solary but that bad entry into the identity glider section means that Afi takes advantage of that to move up into second in place right now, Mime Afi for a second, separated by two tenths through the final hairpin, and thus ITB move back into the lead of this map, nine to eight. We could still see this thing in overtime, Kai.
I think we're gonna see that in overtime if Mahmoud Afi just continue like that. They have track point. It is track point versus match point. Keep in mind, if Solari get an ace in this round, we will see the match being over. A victory from Solari would bring us to overtime, and any other result would result into ITB winning. Even a draw, even a first position would be enough. And look at that line from Mime. They're just getting such a good entry into the next part of the footbath section there as well. And it is Carl Jr. Uh, being left alone, packed with a mistake. And I think this is almost all she wrote, unless one of the ITB members, or even both, will make a mistake here. This could be going all the way to map number seven. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see what Maiman Afi will do in the ending. They have to hold against the five-time world champion. Remember the saying, anything can happen in track, Minyan usually does. Now Carl back on the charge to try and challenge Maiman for the lead of the race, but Afi continuing to play it safe, playing the format, sticking to third place. As long as one makes it through in first and third, it's going to be done. But right now, it will be Maiman under threat for Carl Jr. for the individual win, but in the grand scheme of things it will not matter at all Carl may win with a 0.775 but CJR cannot really help his teammate pack at this point top and bottom is not really going to help the Solary cause 10 to 9 wow. for ITB such a close outcome to this map and thus for the first time of the weekend guys we finally get onto game number seven I'm really looking forward to that this is do or die and you know what we also gonna see tubes for the first time Oh man, what a decisive last map that is, guys. Rubbing hands already. Oh my god, this will be insane. So good luck, have fun to the players. Pat Cal Jr. and also Afi and mine will find it out one more time. Who will make it into the next bracket, already into the semi-finals, and also having top four guaranteed. This is the map that will decide who finishes seed one of their group and be placed in the semi-final. It will be all on this map with few pipe lists in there, with the most two important ones, of course, at the identity, with the final one needing about a three-quarter rotation that you need to cancel out to get a proper water bounce to land yourself on your wheels into the finish line, as you see right here. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we are underway for the final map here of this opening game of the day. Solary versus ITB. It's all or nothing for seed one. Maybe you can see it here. Afi has no PB. You know what that means? Yeah, they haven't played this map in a match just yet, but Mime has the online world record. So he has the record in the leaderboard. So that is an important thing to notice. We haven't seen Afi and Mime playing this map so far. Pack and Cole Jr. have the best average on this map here. They are just ahead of uh, EC Japan Corp. And right now they find themselves also in a fight with Pack. Uh, Afi and Pack are fighting it out for first position, but Kaljini with a mistake. And we see ITB already with the upper hand this round by the looks of it here. Let's approach the last part of the section. Yeah, unfortunately, Mime as well looking to have uh, had a bit of a slowdown through that sandy section on the left and right, dips in the dirt. Right now, it is Pack continuing to hold the fort for Solary, trying to challenge uh, Afi for a draw right now. But now look at Afi's entry into that first of two pipe plays that Pack comes out with a much better speed right there. Moving on to the final. Pack. Pack, unfortunately, doesn't get the proper approach and Pack forced to respawn, promoting Mime into second place, and thus the round will fall into the hands of ITB. Very, very costly mistake on the side of Mr. Thomas Cole. He can, he can, you can already see him shaking his head, wondering what on earth just happened there. Now, this is round one. It's in the past. Focus on the next round. Dream start for ITB, though, on the decisive map here. It is map number seven. Whoever wins this map, whoever reaches 10 points first or surpasses them, will win this match, and the other team will get demoted into seed number two. Still a good solace, but still, you want to skip one match at any cost, but this can also swing the momentum in your way if you're already prepared into that one. Afi with a beautiful flip in there. He's flipped so far to the left, has a lot of speed to work with in this uphill section. Mime also with a great start. ITB is cooking in this round, and they're first and second again. Currently, Pack trying to split the two ITB teammates apart from first and second place, and Carl Jr. also not looking too shabby. Currently still in the mix, but we see Afi going way too wide at the exit, trying to go for a bit of a different approach for that very, very flowy section. Unfortunately, a little bit of a touch from the left rear on the side of Pack with that long right-hander, and it looks as though Afi is still in the mix indeed, along with Mime and Carl Jr. trying to challenge for the lead right now. The Swiss overtaking the Canadian through one final tube flip. We go. Afi is completely on challenge in this ending and thus with a 1-3 and a 0.837 on the side of Afi it will be victory for ITV who are past the halfway mark. Carl Jr. also with his match PB there but Afi holding the gear 
gear four before the identity. This is insanely hard to do. ITB extending the lead, it's five to one. So that is another good round for them. Also heavily capitalizing from the mistake from Pack. The player from the United Kingdom hit the outside there in this dirt corner. So that is quite unfortunate for him. And let's go into the staircase yet again for the third time on this map. Let's see, Mime with a good start. Call Jr. in the lead, but Mime clipping a little bit. Doesn't really lose him too much, but still you can feel a little bit falling a bit further behind. But you can see the line there from Afi not working out this time as well. So this is Solari's chance to come back into this match or into this map and maybe regain control and come ever so slightly closer. This could be an ace for Solari. This could be an ace for Solari. They managed to dial that second sector in very quickly into round three right now. But watch out, there is also Mime waiting in the wings, waiting for his opportunity to strike, biding his time at the moment. The look at Pack, a little bit more conservative this time being wary of the last time he touched on the outside and look who's there to take advantage of that also Afi packed down the P4 Carl Jr. needs to hold the fort but look at the speed from Afi unfortunately too far off to the right will bounce back at the exit and thus will be forced to respawn Mime inherits the lead and thus ensures a draw will be standing still on the side of ITB with a .638 on the side of Mime Carl and Pack second and third thus it is still a four point lead for ITB are getting closer and closer to that game point yeah what a great and hectic round there from the players I mean great in terms of that we only see a draw and not an ace in against Solary in that way. So ITB, of course, capitalizing from that. They come in closer. Only four points to win this match and uh, prove the cast is wrong here. But we all expected close matches to be happening today and we can already see it for match number one. It is map number seven and Colginia also gets in a very good start in this round together with his teammate Pack. Oh, but Colginia with a mistake there and those small individual mistakes that Solary could not capitalize on. I just talk about Afi on map number six, but they could solely not capitalize from that. ITB looking strong to at least take one point but they could also move up to nine points such an unfortunate clip from cgr at the end of the first sector once again leaving pack high and dry all on his own to try and contain the tidal wave that afi and mama are representing right now they're looking to try and overhaul the englishman but right now afi falling out of the fight after that very heavy clubbering on the left hand side oh, and pack Junior. falling off uh, the map unfortunately forced to respawn carl moving up into second place ahead of afi it will be mime and afi first and third looking to secure a victory carl will be splitting the middle in second position mime with a Point nine seventy two sub 104, Afi in P3, and thus we move on to 8-3, and ITB one victory away from toppling Solary here to get seed one. Wow, what an unfortunate mistake there. But those things just do happen. You have to push those uh, tubes so much, and it's not that easy to do. So ITB with match point. Who would have thought that? It is looking very good for them. Solary has to perform now. They have to at least get a victory or like, I mean, a draw would also be good because they are certainly needing two aces anyway in some way, but still they have to perform. And right now it is Carl Jr. who is a bit further behind. Gets a really good line there. Has more speed than Maim and Afi, but Pack is also getting attacked by Maim and Afi here. Look at that. Good fight there. One point is already huge for ITB. With that, they come even closer to what that 10 point threshold. Pack still leading, but what a close round is developing here. We see Maim with a bit of a different line. Doesn't have the best amount of speed around that corner. The outside turn will decide not. No one with a mistake. Who's going to hold the gear? It looks like almost a1 will do that. Oh my god, this is a close round between them. Mime and Afi in the lead, but it is Carl Jr. And also Afi and Mime both with a mistake. Pack and Carl Jr. will get the ace. Oh my god, I say you say that you spoke too soon as Pack was forced to respawn there. Carl doesn't get the proper landing, won't be able to finish in the lead. Oh my god. They got the ace. They got I the know the script. You know the script? Yeah, you have it, also next, you have it also next to you. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nostradamus is there, I know, but uh, I thought everything was all over after uh, Pack unfortunately fell off the pipe, forcing him to respawn, but it seems as though we had bigger troubles brewing on the side of ITB here on that round, and thus, Solary slashed the gap back down to two points, but they do need a lot more. They need a lot more indeed. They need another ace in this way, or just two victories would also be good now. Then we would go into overtime, Tom. So yeah. this is also something to consider. Solary, it's not on that one just yet, but what a close match. This match is on knife's edge, and you could have seen it there. Players had to go to the absolute limit, had to go out of their comfort zone, and they have to perform under pressure now. Indeed, they have to perform under pressure as we make our way through Sector 1. It will be Carl Pack off in mind through the split, heading for the first pipe flip. Mine going very low, but doesn't get the best of landings. Very, very harsh. Thus, he will be falling back to the 
Very, very tail end of the field. It will be Afi left all on his own to try and contain the Solary duo, to try and keep that two-point gap alive, to make it an ace or bust scenario for Solary. Carl Jr. trying to go for the full sand here, dipping his wheels into the water on the left-hand side, manages to regain the grip nice and easy. Pack and Afi still going toe-to-toe -to -toe in Sector 3. This is insanely close, but such an important round is also developing here. Afi has to deny the victory or ace to Solary. Solary could go into the lead, but it is mine with a respawn, and also Carl Jr. not with the best amount of speed. No, it was pack, but Carl Jr. with an insane Mimbers there can go into the lead, but didn't get the best dip. Will not even dip out, and it is off into the lead. Mime versus Kaljuni now for the victory here. Can Mime snipe Kaljuni in the ending? It's looking good, but it's not enough. We go into a last round here on tubes. We were seconds from disaster on the side of CJR. That could have been costing them the game right there. And here we are, last final round. showdown. Ace or bust, checkers or wreckers, all or nothing. Solary need to get the three points home. Otherwise, they will have to fight their way through the quarterfinals in the playoffs tomorrow. Here we go then for the start of the for, uh, this final round here on Tubes. The final round of this game right there as we make our way through with uh, Afi in the first sector right at the tail of the group. Through the first pipe flip we go on the side of CJR and Pac seems to have gone for a little bit of a higher line just like Afi did a little bit uh, further uh, back in the rounds. And once again, everybody looking to be so close together. Carl Jr. looking a little bit wonky at that entry into sector two there. What a close round is that guy. Solary in need of an ace though. But right now, Carl Jr. also with a good line. Afi and Mime, another best approach. They're packing the lead by the looks of it. But the ending will decide it. Carl Jr. taking insane risks here. And it is Afi and Mime still holding strong. They only need one second place. Carl Jr. has to push it here. Else they will get demoted to the quarterfinals. Pack in the lead. Afi with a good line as well. Carl Jr. is pushing it. Carl Jr with good speed, overtakes one. Will he overtake Afi as well? No, he will not. And ITB beats Solary here, four to three. What a great performance from them. What a great performance. And uh, already the cheers going on the side of Mime saying, let's go, we got this. And uh, yeah, they managed to get seed one in group A and managed to beat our predictions pretty much across the board. But we were expecting a close game. I was pro uh, prognosing maybe a 4-2 match. We ended up getting the 4-3 that I think we really deserved. And this day is already delivering the goods. Wow, what a start into the into the day. I think this will be hard to beat. Match point versus match point, and then also a 10 to 9 ending here between them. So guys, this is Trackmania Esports. That's what you were watching there. And we're going to continue the day with another Remember. banger. It will be KC versus Alliance. Remember, this is only one match in. There are still three matches to go. And indeed, Alliance versus the Carmine Corp will be up next. Mara and Soldier having put a dominant display of skill over the course of their first game versus Big 4-1 to one versus the Carmine Corp, who also did a little bit of a schooling session versus G1 in terms of consistency. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very exciting to see those two teams going at it. But guys, we will be back after a small break. But again, thank you so much for our sponsors, Caporal, AMD, and Alienware for contributing to this World Championship. And there's also a giveaway on the Alienware Twitter, so you can check that out as well. But guys, we'll be back after a 10-minute break that we definitely are in need of.